Okay, so GNOME 3 has been released and uh, they have this new interface called the GNOME Shells. Uh, so what's my opinions on it? Uh, I actually like it. I like it more than I thought I wouldn't like it. If you saw my uh, my video like a year ago, uh, I thought it was going to you know de be dead on arrival. But uh, now that it's here, it's actually very impressive. You know, um, so let's go over some things here. Design wise, like even the first minute I used, I was impressed already. You know, I, I don't know who did the design for this, but you know, give that person a raise because they did a nice job. Uh, from the black color, the white text, the monochrome icons, and all that. Uh, even this thing, I don't know what it's really called, but it's kind of like the the applets or something. I'm not even sure, but that looks nice too. You know, when I'm using this, it feels like uh, futuristic, like, um, you know, today, if I'm using, like, GNOME 2 now, I'm going to feel depressed because it's not, you know, it's dated. You can see it. Uh, this one feels, like, futuristic and dig that. Now, you know, I don't think anyone would disagree about, uh, you know, the design-wise, but uh, when it comes to the usability, this is where a lot of people have problems, you know. They don't want to go up, oh, do this, and all that crap, right? However, uh, I've only been using like one or two days. I got used to it really quick, uh, so it depends on who you are and uh, whether you can, uh, you know, evolve with it. And um, it's not a problem for me. Anyways, you can open the applications. Uh, all your GNOME 2 applications should work on here, so it's not going to be a major problem, okay? But this thing they call it, what is this called here? So you go over here the activation, you can click on it, uh, or you can go to the high corner and do this little wave effect. Looks pretty cool. And um, you know you open your applications here. This thing, this dock here, they call this the dash. Okay, that's just what they call it. And here you can you can pin your favorite applications, uh, or like it'll show the open applications and have the little light up, you know on the icon here. Now there's a way to a few ways to open it. One is just you know to click on the icon. But let's say you want to open multiple instances of it. You can actually control click if you want to open to the same workspace, right? Uh if you want to open to a new workspace, you middle click on it and open to a new workspace here, right? And your workspace is basically on your right side here. Uh, you can actually drag it if you want. Like you can say, yeah, drag this one here, and it's, you know, it become into uh, this second workspace. That's just how that works. Now, the thing I don't like about this is I'm used to you know the expo effect uh, on Compass, where you middle click on something to close the application. If I middle click on this, it doesn't do nothing. You know, I wish they put that by default. Middle click to close, okay? But this is how you would close it from here. You have to go to the little X button. And then you can close it. Um, don't like that. Uh, okay, what else is there? Oh yeah, okay. So you only have the close button, okay? Which I I went over this, um, you know, last time. You don't need the other two buttons, okay? You don't need the maximize. You don't need the minimize. Uh, you can still do it. Like you double click on this stupid thing. You maximize. Double click it again. Right, unmaximize. Now this one is not by default, uh, but you can actually minimize if you wanted to. Is uh, you middle click on the title bar, you can actually set it to middle click, and uh, there you go. That's how you would minimize. Let's bring it back, and that's how we do it. So it's not a big deal. Those two two buttons is useless. Okay. Now let's say you have um, okay, you have two workspace. Now this, if if you close this one and they have no other applications open on that workspace, it will just delete itself. Okay, so if I close this, say it deletes itself, and now you have just the one active one. Uh, this one is always going to be blank. That's just how they do it. Uh, so that's how it works. Okay. Uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, they have this thing. It's called like I don't know. It's it's like a launcher. A simple launcher is not like a a, uh, a a high level like a you know a gnome do or kunfer. It's just a simple one. And what I mean by that is that if you hit uh, was it the super key or the Windows key, 
right you have this thing now you can type out the applications you want to open let's say I want to open uh, gedit you just type it in push enter and you open it now the thing with this is that it doesn't remember you know the last one that you you know you open or your most uh, used one or your most favorite or frequently uh, typed in uh, programs and uh, with gnome do or kunfer they could they do that this one is very simple you, you know let me give you an example if I type in cake and I don't want the first one I want I always want the second one to be first um, you know it's not gonna be in that order it's always gonna be in this order which um, I don't like I wish they have it like uh, gnome do or kunfer where you know it, it, go, it orders by uh, what you use the most okay so it's just a simple launcher you can't do anything more than that but it does look cool okay so you hit you know this you type in whatever you want like on the list and you open your folder right uh, other things you can do in here uh, you hit that windows key again uh, you can go to applications and basically this one is kinda like um, the old was it Ubuntu netbook interface I guess but here's your all your applications and they have categories here if you wanna browse it that way all right that's basically what they got there but switch back to Windows and that's it uh, I think that's about it for those things oh uh, other things I, I do like is that they have a built-in um, screen recorder um, I wish this would be standard on all the you know operating system because you know we have print screen let's see if I hit print screen this thing is like standard on all you know operating system from Windows Mac and, and uh, Linux right now they have the um, you know the screen recorder now I don't want to show it off here but the command for or the, the high key for it is shift control alt and R and then there's a little red button will be uh, here on the the right uh, bottom corner here and it will save it to a webm file and it'll be in your um, home folder now the thing I don't like about the screen uh, recorder they have is that uh, they don't give you an option of doing uh, you know audio with it like your mic input or anything like that it's just a simple you know screen recorder I wish they let you use your your you know your mic jack or whatever but they don't I guess they're trying to be like a print screen you know it, it just prints the the thing well this one just uh, just records your screen it doesn't let you use any audio or whatever but I just wish they had more okay uh, as far as the customizing stuff I believe you could do it it's just that um, it's different right now and not a lot of people know about it so that's why there's a lot of people that says you can't customize it but uh, you can it's just uh, it's not documented yet I guess so we gotta wait for that other things and I know there's a lot of Linux uh, guys that <laughs> hates Windows but you're gonna have to thank Windows for this because it's, it's standard on just about uh, you know all the major Linux distribution now or the Linux uh, desktop environments is that you can tell this sucker using the let me give you an example let's see, let's see it. using the arrow snaps thing right uh, you know arrow snap by default now so whether you hate Bill Gates or not you're gonna have to thank him <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know maximize so this thing is default on GNOME shells Unity and KDE, so there's no denying it. That thing is uh, pimping, and uh, now that we all have it, it's all good, right? So I think that's about it. I actually like it. If you don't like it, I understand. It's not a big deal, but uh, I got used to it really quick. It's not that hard, you know. Just do. I call this the shuffling uh, mode. All right. Let's say for example. If I want to go boop here, go over here, do this, do this stupid motion, and um, that's why I call it the shuffling mode. Okay. Anyways, that's how it works. 
if you want to try it out on uh, your Ubuntu system or Ubuntu 11.04 you can actually do it now if you want to do it. Um, that'll be it just for this one. I'll probably go over some other stuff you can do with uh, GNOME shells in the future, but that's just my opinions on it now. Uh, I like it. Design-wise, it's great. If you don't like it, it's not for you, so don't waste your time. That's it for this one.